Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp tour video. Today I'm on Nora, who as you can see is looking very medical. This will be the new set for Nora's pharmacy. Um, Nora and Gramps were run out of Flatwoods by Duchess, who didn't like the competition from the uh, restaurant across the road, and just start, decided to start a new business. We're actually in Sutton today, um, not far from the overseer's home. I wanted to build this somewhere where near to a town rather than in the middle of nowhere. I have built in this spot before and um, the only thing that annoys me about it is the light. Since Bethesda changed the, the lighting in the game to be more air quotes atmospheric some spots are quite dark so this is one of them so I've had to actually use a lot of budget on lights but as you can see we have a vendor set up so that when the clinic is closed you can buy your uh, medicines and drugs from here we have a turret upstairs is the living quarters try not to walk into the tractor we have a, a ramp, although personally I'm not sure I'd want to get a wheelchair up <laughs> down here. <laughs> but I never noticed how steep they were before until I thought about it in terms of wheelchair access. But I use the metal building pieces, and this is I this is wallpaper on the outside. It's it's double walled. We have a nice strong security door. As you come in through the main door, we have the pharmacy here, which as you can see is quite well protected. We, we don't want those raiders getting our drugs. Lots of positive informational posters about. This is the reception area. In, in reality these days these seats should be slightly further apart because of COVID but COVID hasn't hit the wasteland yet. We have a magazine rack so you can read a magazine while you wait. If no one's on reception you can check in via the uh, terminal so that the doctor knows you're here. I use these tabletop TVs to um, s simulate computers, so... This is the doctor's office, where if you want to have a chat with the doctor, you can. Although, as you can see, Dr Forager is currently outside the back having a cigarette. <laughs> he's, not, he's not that good a doctor, to be honest. There is a bathroom for customer use. Obviously the last person to use it, yeah. That really does need a clean. This area is for employees only, or if you come in with the doctor. This this is the treatment room. I have a few pieces of medical equipment that are sterilised in the container. We do also do a little bit of dentistry work and um, Dr Forager has been making his own his own tools as you can see. We have a symptomatic machine which is probably safer than being treated by Dr Forager. This will cure all diseases. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to uh, cure addiction. We keep the pharmacy door locked. Obviously, Nora can check to make sure that you're actually due your prescription and that there are no side effects with the drugs that you're ordering. We keep our mo most dangerous drugs locked up. 
And just in case anyone was any any doubt, this is the pharmacy. Although I have to confess, when I first made this sign, I put an <laughs> I put an R there because the P and the R on the on the menu look very similarly, and <laughs> it said pharmacy. So yeah, I thought I'd better change that. I'm actually dyslexic. Um, I have problems. I have problems distinguishing between P's and M's. It's never been formally diagnosed, it's never really been a problem. Um, although I used to work for a company that had two P's and an M in their name and yeah, that would that would, could be a problem, especially when I'm tired. Um, but yes, it does say pharmacy. <laughs> Obviously all employees should wash their hands and there is a sink in the chemistry workbench. Through here we have a small workshop so that so that Dr. Forager can sharpen his tools and make new ones. We've also used the uh, small generators because of space. quickly head upstairs. This camp is actually completely maxed out on budget. I would have liked to have put a railing up here but I just, there was no budget left. So the, the decorations here are pretty sparse for me but I felt that it was more important, as I'm going to be using downstairs as a set, to decorate that area. There is a little storage cupboard here. I have some boxes and a suitcase in. There's the bedroom. and the bathroom. We do have a little, it's not just a complete box, we do have a little area out here, a little balcony, which gives the building a little bit more interest. Um, I think I'm level 84 on the scoreboard at the moment and we have a double score weekend this weekend. I'm hoping that within a week I should have the glass pieces. I was wondering what this would look like glassed off rather than having a railing as sort of a conservatory area. But given the budget restrictions I have, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do a lot more decorating or even put, put the glass walls up. But the conduits are, qu are quite budget intensive so might be okay. I'll show you what the building looks like. Oh, there he is. Hold my finger, kid. Wait! Do ah, it. He's still doing that. Right. <laughs> Oops. Don't look at that. That, that, that was, was something that, that went wrong. We have a collection point here for um, patients that, that don't, don't respond well to treatment. So the building looks quite in, a bit more interesting from the back. I did consider putting the balcony at the front, but I'm not sure anyone living there would want the balcony at the front. So, so for the person that asked me to um, build a doctor's surgery or a clinic, I'm not sure if this is what you had in mind. Back in my day, we didn't mutate willy nilly. <laughs> Very appropriate, Doctor Forager. So I'm not sure if this is what you had in mind, um, but I hope you like it. Nora will be back in a couple of weeks um, with the first of Nora's pharmacy where she'll be making Psycho, which means fun in the cranberry bog again. <laughs> I'll try not to die. <laughs> um, I have a new build planned for Scarlet for my building 101, which is one of my favourite um, builds and has got me a lot of compliments in the past. It's it's deceptively easier and it has more, la it, you can make it more complex or simple. Um, I'm waiting to get the glass um, build set for that 
I have built it in the past and where glass would have been I've used um, the metal uh, metal half pieces those will be replaced with glass half walls all will become apparent when you see it I've decided because I don't like doing long videos I don't like watching long videos with my building 101 series as it's getting more complicated um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two videos I'm going to do the part one will be the build just the building and part two will be decorating so that way I split it up some of you are more interested in building some of you are more interested in decorating so I thought that was a good way to split it and it means that the, I can do videos under half an hour ho hopefully uh, my main character is still at the Halloween camp and I will be building a new new camp on that character probably in about a week so lots to do I've been playing loads of arc and um, I have been playing primitive and I have been I've changed the map to Crystal Isles and I built a boat this week so I've been spending quite more time than I should doing that um, but it's been great fun so um, yeah I'm, I have been pondering streaming a bit of arc but um, I'll see how I go um, that's all the news from me everybody here is happy and relatively healthy Ty's been so much happier since he had his teeth out he must have been in a huge amount of pain so um, I think I will be posting more stuff on Twitter um, about the cats and about everything for the time being and um, yeah we'll see how that goes okay everyone that's all from me today thank you for watching <laughs>